My name is Virginia Wollstonehome. I'm a consultant clinical oncologist at Barts Health London. I specialise in breast and skin cancer and work in a multidisciplinary team coordinating the care of patients with advanced cancer. I've been involved in the electrochemotherapy process and the treatments for the last four years and I work closely with Mr Graham Moyer who's a consultant plastic surgeon also in the Trust. We've also been taking referrals from other cancer types including gynaecology, head and neck and breast cancer. So my role as a clinical oncologist in, with electrochemotherapy is to assess the patients with Mr Moyer, uh, look at the sites of disease that we need to treat and assess their fitness for chemotherapy. I then have to check that they have suitable blood tests, organise the dosing and the prescribing of the chemotherapy uh, and make sure that everything is safe for its administration in theatre. When patients are referred to us uh, to consider electrochemotherapy, we have a weekly multidisciplinary meeting uh, which includes pathologists, dermatologists, oncologists and plastic surgeons. So the case will be reviewed, any imaging that the patient has will be seen and we will then decide whether this is an appropriate way and treatment for the patient because although it's already been nice approved it's important that we discuss these patients with the whole team to make the right decision. At the moment the indications for electrochemotherapy would be for palliative disease, so looking at areas that need control of bulky tumours, pain, fungating areas that cannot be, uh, this cannot be achieved with chemotherapy. It may also be used for patients that have exhausted all lines of treatment and require another type of treatment then they may have already received radiotherapy to those areas. Often the patients that are referred to us for electrochemotherapy may only have very small volume cutaneous disease. It's these patients where electrochemotherapy can be very useful because patients may not want to have a further line of chemotherapy and it may be that they do not want to use up limited options for chemotherapy and choose electrochemotherapy instead. By the time the patients come to see us, they may have had many lines of chemotherapy, they may also have received radiotherapy, uh, and they may be quite uh, far along their patient pathway. They may have exhausted a lot of treatments and really have not many other options for them to help. There are side effects of electrochemotherapy. Uh, those are mainly limited to pain and local inflammation at the time of uh, the procedure. There are, however, more rarer side effects that can affect the lungs and the skin, and patients have to be aware about those before they consent for the treatment. Electrochemotherapy, when it is compared to chemotherapy and other targeted treatments, which are very expensive, uh, is much cheaper. There's obviously the cost of the general anaesthetic and the patient admission. The bleomycin drug itself is fairly cheap. So in comparison to the targeted treatments, uh, electrochemotherapy represents a cost-effective way to pal palliate the patients. Electrochemotherapy certainly in the UK is still fairly early in its development. I think it's important that we continue to gather data about our practice and the effects of the treatment on our patients and get involved in international studies that are looking into this subject. I think it's also important for us to look at ways in the future where this can be added into other treatments, particularly with immunotherapy, to see if we can improve the efficacy of electrochemotherapy.